hello welcome back to my kitchen if it's your first time here you're welcome today i'll show you how i make my okra mixed with ogbono it's something that i make all the time to be honest i hardly eat ogbono by itself but i decided to make it with a new vegetable this time i'm using kale i've never used kale for this soup before and to be honest it's actually good i really like it it's kind of like ugu but crunchier <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing how i make it keep watching This is going to be a cook with me video so I don't have all the ingredients laid out for you to see but as I cook you get to see what I'm cooking with for this recipe I'll be using goat meat so all your goat meat needs is simple seasoning which is beef seasoning and then you need salt and onion add everything together add some water and put it on the cooker allow it to cook till it is soft you can first of all just boil your meat without adding water so that it will cook in its own juice but i did not have the time and the patience because you need to put your eyes on it and i did not want to burn my precious pot <laughs> so i'm going to add some water to this just mix and then allow it to cook till it's soft Lately I've been cooking goat meat a lot, I don't know what it is but you guys, I'm just right now in the season of goat meat. For the okra, I'm going to chop it, you know, the way I used to chop it back in the day with my knife, the way that if you don't have a blender or a processor, that way you would chop it. I have a processor and I use it to chop okra most of the time, but I didn't want to use it for this recipe because I wanted the okra to look a certain way. I feel like if I use the processor, I can easily like over blend or just not get the shape I'm looking for so I wanted to use my knife and it was actually very therapeutic This is fresh ogbono. This is what ogbono looks like, just in case you don't know. I like to buy my ogbono fresh from the market and whole like this. I don't like to blend it in the market just for so many reasons. But I think for me, the major reason is I don't know what they blended before, so they could just mix a goosey with your ogbono. I like to blend it at home since I have a meal already and I blend it with crayfish. That's the only way you can blend it and then it won't clump up. If you don't use crayfish, like it will be hard to blend. I know some of us will buy Ogbono from supermarket. I used to do that in the past, but I would always have like Ogbono failure. You know when you're making your Ogbono and the thing is either not drawing or sometimes it's smelling like soap or it's just, there's just something about it. So since then I made up my mind to always like buy my own Ogbono and blend it by myself. So if you're having issues with like Ogbono that smells like soap or Ogbono that does not draw, maybe that is why. For this recipe, I'm using kale. I've been using a lot of kale lately, but the thing is, it's pretty expensive. This is about 1,000 naira where I buy it from. And on a normal day, if I buy ugu this quantity, it's about 100 naira or 200 naira. So it's expensive, but I just wanted to try something different for this soup and just to have a different taste. And I actually like it. This is what I put in my ogbono. So this is pepper, atarodo, onion, and a big bell pepper. So that's like tatashi, big bell pepper. And I'm just going to cut it into little chunks so that it will be easier to blend. Put it in a blender, add some water, enough water, 
and then just blend away but don't blend it too smooth i don't like it to be too smooth because i like to see like the chunks of pepper in the soup as i'm eating or as, as i'm cooking but do what you like if you want it to be very smooth make it very smooth transfer the pepper to a pot you can see how rough mine is transfer it to the pot add some water we're going to add palm oil because it's going to give it nice color you can do it without adding palm oil but i really like my palm oil in my ogono soup or in my okra soup so add some palm oil and then we're going to add some chicken this is smoked chicken i like to use smoky things in ogbono soup because it gives it a lot of flavor makes it really delicious so i'm just going to be using bits of this smoked chicken i'm also going to use smoked banla fish so if you know me you know this fish is my beloved favorite fish <laughs> that I use in most of my soups because I don't really like a lot of the other type of fishes I really like this one and since my food is going to be eaten by my babies <laughs> I need them to really like what I'm cooking and I don't want to cook different food for everybody so I'm going to add some of that goat meat you see the goat meat I've already cooked it and I put it in the freezer so I just brought it out add some of it add some of the smoked fish that's the smoked panda fish it really gives a lovely lovely flavor to this soup also my beef had a bit of stock in it so if you have stock you add it as your liquid allow it to boil for a bit after it has boiled add more cold water and then you add your ogonal so this is my blended ogonal you're just going to add it like that no need to pre-mix or do anything Add it, then use your spoon and stir everything together. As it boils, it will begin to thicken up, kind of like when you make pap. There are different ways of making pap and different ways of making obono. So many methods. But this is my favorite method. I just put my obono in there and by the time you mix and it boils, your obono is ready. Once it starts bubbling like this, you know you're good to go. Now I'm going to add the chopped okra. I'm also going to add the vegetable, the kale at this point because it takes a while for that one to actually cook. It's, it's a bit tough. I'll mix everything together and just allow it to cook for a few more minutes. Let's say a minute or two, just so that everything is incorporated, nothing is tasting raw and then we are good to go we're going to enjoy this soup if you notice i didn't really add salt or seasoning because the seasoning in my stock and then the smoked chicken was a bit salty all those things come together and it gives my soup a lovely taste so i didn't have to add extra seasoning and it was so delicious This is what my okra ogbono soup looks like. In the past, I will make it with ugu, I will make it with uziza, or like I said, I just wanted to try something new today and I actually like it. It wasn't bad at all. So try kill. Let me know if you use kill on a normal day. Let me know if kill is something you've seen in like Nigerian markets or supermarkets. And if you've tried it, what do you think about it? give this recipe a try if you have questions leave them in the comment section you can also send me an email i respond as often as i can i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you're watching and you have not liked or you're watching and you're not subscribed what are you doing <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye